Hi, this is Tudor P, and this is verb phrase 298. The verb phrase today is pour in, and we got four meanings and four uses. Okay, let's get right into it. Here's the first one. If people pour in, they arrive in great numbers. All right, here's the first example. If people, um, it doesn't get busy until around noon. Uh, customers start pouring in around lunchtime, so they start arriving in great numbers. All right, uh, the second one here. Um, to have a liquid or loose substance, especially in a powder form, so you could use it either for liquid or for like a powder form. Uh, pour the milk in the cup and don't spill any. Of course, that's a liquid. Uh, that cement trunk poured cement into the ground to fill a large hole. Okay, well, this could be like half wet, half powder. Okay, let's continue. Uh, to flow or stream into a place. All right, this is the third one. Uh, the river overflowed and water poured into the streets. Okay, this is just another way we use it. All right, and number four here, this one we use a lot too. If letters, complaints, phone calls, offers, etc., pour in, they are received over a short period of time. So you're receiving a lot of them over a period of time. They are pouring in. Okay, let's look at the first example here. Many complaint letters have been pouring in due to a scandal. Okay, or number two here. The phone calls have been pouring in with requests of how to get it. Well, whatever it is, maybe somebody's selling something, or you know, maybe there's a way that there's something out there that people want and they're trying to figure out how to get it. So they're calling to figure out how to get it. All right, number uh, the third one, next one here. Orders have been pouring in before Christmas. So maybe somebody's ordering a lot of some hot item. The orders are pouring in, you could say it that way. Uh, and the last one here, after her big break, many offers for roles have been pouring in. So there's a lot of um, offers. The people are offering her many films. Uh, this, they could be pouring in as well. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Again, if you like these verb phrases and all the possible uh, meanings and uses you can get for it, I'd appreciate if you could uh, give me a life a like or a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.